News Clay County is out with new COVID-19 restrictions. Beginning Monday, restaurants and bars must operate at 50% capacity and close by 10 p.m. Gyms and fitness centers must operate at 50% capacity and everyone inside must wear a mask. Indoor gatherings are limited to a maximum of 10 people unless approved by the health department. These changes are in line with the orders recently announced in Kansas City, Missouri, Jackson and Wyandotte counties, which begin Friday. Also tonight, we're hearing COVID cases are spreading throughout another local school district. It's happening in the Lee Summit School District. KMB Stein's Brian Johnson is live at the school board and they just decided to switch virtual learning for some students, Brian. That's correct. Pre-K through third grade is going to stay in person. No changes there, but fourth grade through 12th grade, those will go all totally virtual starting next week, Monday, November 23rd. They will go online through the end of the semester until next semester starts on January 25th. Since September 8th, which is our first day of school, um, we've had 235 students have a positive case. Facing substitute staffing challenges and health concerns, Lee's Summit calls a special school board meeting to determine academic futures. Leaders are worried about the increases in positives and quarantines, especially over the last week. They're starting to notice those numbers um, increase and students and staff decrease in their buildings. The virus isn't just spreading outside of school. That is no longer the case. We have um, multiple cases. Still a handful, but multiple cases we think now we have spread where it happened at school. Parents understand the health concerns. They also understand academic concerns. The online schooling thing is not working, and my sons are not doing great at school, uh, and so this is not good news for us. Many students prefer learning in person. Previously, when the school went virtual, that the academics weren't as good as they were going on campus. The challenges aren't just in Lee Summit. Half the state is faring far worse, especially in rural parts of Missouri. I think it's terrifying because the kids are disconnected when they're at home, but I think that we really do have to look at what's best, and even if it's short term, Right now, the board is still considering if basketball and wrestling should not be played this semester. Other schools are playing it. They did not decide anything for wrestling and basketball tonight. They'll revisit that on Thursday. Live in Lee Summit, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. And teachers asked for two days to help them transition to online learning. As for COVID's impact on businesses, the restaurant Le Fou Frog in the River Market area is closing temporarily after two employees tested positive for the virus. The rest of the staff is in quarantine. The plan is to reopen December 1st if everyone tests negative. Kansas City, Missouri officials are busy trying to figure out how to enforce the city's new restrictions. They take effect on Friday. The mayor expects police to help enforce some of them, like big late night parties in violation of the 10 per person gathering limit. Until now, the city's health department has handled most enforcement for restaurants and bars working about 3,500 complaints since March. A spokesperson for John Knox Village in Lee Summit confirms 20 people have died from complications of COVID-19 at the care center since October. More than 100 staff and residents have been infected. Right now, visitors are not allowed at the center. Temperatures must be taken, and there is an isolation unit for COVID-19 patients. At the Garden Terrace in Overland Park, 17 people have died in the latest COVID-19 outbreak. That's even after it passed a recent inspection. Johnson County Health officials say the virus is getting in through staff who may work at several senior care centers. It is a safer in these facilities when we have community spread under control. Uh, so it becomes very important uh, for us to protect our vulnerable population in these facilities to work really hard to bring uh, to control the spread in the community. Health officials know of 39 outbreaks in senior care facilities across Johnson County. 68% of the county's deaths from COVID-19 are from those type of facilities. More than 200 new cases of the virus plus two deaths are being reported in Kansas City, Missouri since yesterday. Most of those new cases are coming from the parts of the city in Jackson and Clay counties. Daily hospitalizations are also up in the nine county Kansas City area. Dozens of area nurses say they don't have enough PPE to handle increasing COVID-19 cases. Nurses held a protest outside HCA Midwest headquarters in Overland Park tonight. They wore N95 masks with red paint to represent blood. These nurses say they don't have enough PPE and their hospitals don't have enough staff to handle the growing patient load. I think the frustration level is very high. The burnout is very high for the nurses. Um, we want to be protected. We want to be at the bedside. We want to serve our communities, but we also want the hospital to protect us. You are going to have fatigue among 
employees, but our administration, the hospitals are doing the best they can to keep sh to make sure that uh, there is adequate staffing and that, you know, we do have each other's back. HCA is out with a statement saying throughout our response to COVID-19, our focus has been on protecting our colleagues and ensuring our people have enough personal protective equipment. United Methodist Church of the Resurrection is going back to online services only. This will start Sunday and it applies to all locations across the metro. Candlelight Christmas Eve services will also be streamed online and broadcast on December 23rd and 24th. More than 30,000 people attend the tradition during a normal year.